What is up everybody? Welcome to Jamestown, I'm James, and today I'm gonna show you how I masterfully text leads from the perfect first word to get a response to the best opening sentence to ease into the deal. And I'll show you the most quick and efficient way you can text your leads so you can extract all the deals possible from your list. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I'm gonna take you behind the curtain so you can see the actual text conversations that led to my deals. And yes, I have wholesaled a property without ever speaking to the owner in person or on the phone, all by text. So let's get started. So first, I'll give you a few facts as to why I choose texting for my main, if not only, form of contacting new leads. Now, it's not at all that I'm saying that other forms of contact don't work and in some instances may even be preferred, but to me, it's extremely obvious where I wanna spend the bulk of my time, energy, and most importantly, my money. So first of all, people will almost always see your text. SMS open rates are as high as 98%. Secondly, nine out of 10 people read their text messages within the first three minutes. And lastly, SMS open rates are above 300% higher than phone calls. All right, so as I'm sure you notice now, my cat has decided to join me and I'm just gonna let him sit there for as long as he wants to because I don't like to disturb him. All right, so now you know some of the reasons why I text, let's talk about how I text. It all starts with a computer dialer service. Now, as I've said in other videos, there's plenty to choose from. You got Grasshopper, Textedly, Dialpad, Google Voice, and the list goes on. But the one that I personally use is Dialpad. Now, I'm uniquely qualified to give a recommendation about this because I've used every single other dialer that I named before I got around to trying out Dialpad. Now, I landed on Dialpad because it's like $20 a month and it gives you unlimited text. Now for me, I've got me plus two others sending texts, so I've got three lines on my account and it runs me like $75 with taxes and fees every month, which is honestly nothing to have the ability for three people to text leads around the clock all month long. Now, if you're interested in trying out Dialpad, there's a link down in the description and I am not sponsored by them, but I just wanna pass it on. So now you've got the why I text my leads and even the what that I use to text my leads. And now here's the how I text my leads as in the method I use for max efficiency and the scripts that I've been refining for months and have had insane amounts of success with. So now let's go ahead and take a look at my computer so I can show you dial pad, my lead sheets, exactly how I use everything, my scripts, actual conversations I've had. Let's go behind the curtain. Okay, so here we have our lead sheet over here. And then I have my dial pad, which is my dialer that I use open over here. So basically I'll go over the lead sheet first. After I extract the leads from my database, which I go over completely in another video, um, I export the data and all I keep is the first name, the last name, the street address, the city, and their cell phone number. And then I keep all of my various responses, otherwise known as my script over here. And then over on the dial pad side, so dial pad's a pretty basic dialer, that's why I like it. You know, you can send calls, texts, or video call. Keeps your favorite um, contacts right here, which is where I save my warm leads, as I call them. So they're not quite a hot lead and ready for my CRM, but there are people that I wanna remember to follow up with and um, just kinda have handy, so I keep them right here. And then I'll also show you guys a pop-up right here. And this is the analytics page of Dialpad. And you can see how many um, calls and texts, in my case, that you've made, since that's how I like to contact my leads. And I sent 10,000 texts over the past 30 days, as you can see here. And that's about pretty standard for us. All right, so getting into the actual method that I use when it goes to texting. So <clears throat> what I do for maximum efficiency is I text 100 of my leads at a time. So I section them off in blocks of 100. And I just start with their first name. I text all 100 people their first name and a question mark, as you'll see when I actually put my scripts up on the screen. So it looks like this. Copy their cell phone number, paste into dial pad. Now this isn't a real phone number, so it doesn't work. Then you type in their name, John, with a question mark, hit enter. And then you go to the next one, copy, paste their first name tim question mark enter over and over till you do 100 so it'll probably take you maybe 15 20 minutes tops to send their first name and a question mark to 100 leads so once you do that after you finish texting the 100 leads you'll usually have between 20 to 25 responses um you know most most people won't respond or the numbers old um 
regardless of how you skip traced it. So once you have 100 responses, you'll click uh, your inbox here, unread, and I don't have any right now, but here is a pop-up I have, and this is after the 100, here's my responses. So we gotta know who's this, yes, who's this, uh, somebody just called me, um, some question marks, and this is how I respond to those. So if it's a no, obviously, it's, the conversation ends right there because they're not the person or they don't wanna talk to me. No, no, end, end. Anything else for the most part, and I'll kinda you know go into more detail when you see my actual script, but anything else just warrants the next part of the script. So we would move on. So after those 100 people I texted here, we got about 20 responses and 17 of them. We're ready to move on to the next portion of the script. All right, so going back over to the next portion of the script, this is how it works if we were doing, uh, let's say tired landlords over here. So we have somebody text us back. Let me pull up a tired landlord here real quick. And then what you would do, <clears throat> here's the tired landlord script I have over here on my lead sheet. So let's say one of the people that texted me back was this guy. And he said yes. I would then go to his address, copy, go into my script, and then where the address is, I would just paste in his address so it is unique to him. So now this would read as, my name is James, sorry for the random text. I saw your property over on 123 Pilsner Drive and was interested in it. Now for tired landlords, I like to say I was interested in it because it leaves it open-ended. They don't know if you want to rent or they want to, or if you want to buy, and they're very um, used to people hitting them up, so it just kind of eases into the conversation nicely. Now if you go over to Dialpad, this is an actual conversation I had with a motivated seller um, using this exact script. So as you can see, I said Amy with a question mark. Maybe, LOL, so she already seems nice, that's good. And then I said, my name is James, sorry for the random text, I saw your property over on then her address and was interested in it. She said, okay, are you interested in to rent or buy, just like I said. So then I told her, I'm looking to buy, trying to get a rental property in the area, and then she said she was thinking about selling it and need some work, I told her we buy it as is, and we're looking to do some work. So she said, that's great, can I call you next week? I told her that's fine. She actually asked how um, I got her number, and a lot more people than you think are gonna ask you that, and then I'm just honest with them. You know, I said I looked it up with a skip trace service. She said, okay, told her I'd give her a call, and that was it. And that's actually a deal that I am currently closing, and should make me around 10 grand. So just scripts, just netted me from that, real simple without even you know picking up the phone. Okay, so then let's say you have a pre-foreclosure instead. So after those hundred first name question mark texts, you, instead of using that script, you will just use the pre-foreclosure script, which is actually much simpler because you don't need to put their address in it. It's the same thing uh, for everybody, basically. And that reads as follows. So my name is James. Sorry about the random text. I found your property and information on a pre-foreclosure list with the county. I understand you may be in the pre-foreclosure process. Are you open to selling before this happens? And then for a, um, so then once you say that, the responses will be a little bit different for that than tired landlords. Let me pull those up for you here. Okay, so then after I text them all that pre-foreclosure uh, script, um, I get the responses back and here's the pop-up of the responses after that. So we had, uh, my home's not in a foreclosure. So for that, I use this script down here in, um, on my lead sheet, which just says, okay, no worries. If anything changes and you're looking to sell, please keep me in mind, thanks. Simple as that. Um, and that way, you know, I have had people come back to me in a week or two and then actually be ready to sell their house. And then obviously if they say they don't own a house or no or something like that, you, can, you don't have to respond. But generally you'll say, no worries, keep me in mind. And then this person said, make me an offer. And then that's when I go into my next part of the script back over here on the lead sheet, which says it really depends on the current condition and details of the interior. Do you have time for a quick call so I can get that info and get you a more accurate offer? Something along the lines of that. You wanna to try to get them on the phone as quick as possible. And um, that was it. So out of the 100 people I texted, you know, I had about 17 responses and ended up setting an appointment with one of them. And you figure you can close one out of every five appointments, so every 500 to 1,000 leads, you should be able to find yourself a deal. And so then once you talk to them on the phone and you are starting to negotiate, things like that, things have progressed to talking about price, you know the house is gonna work for you, etc. You're gonna wanna go ahead and put them into your CRM. 
So I'll pop up a picture of, uh, the, of the CRM that I use, which I will go into more detail in in a separate video, which will be all about the CRM, which is a customer relationship management, and it keeps all your leads in order. Um, it's really not possible to do once you're at an even decent scale of doing deals. You're, you're not gonna be able to use a spreadsheet or use a notebook. Um, you're gonna need to get a CRM. So this is what it looks like basically. It just keeps everybody's information, keeps everything organized. And then here's actually a deal pipeline in the CRM, which shows you all the deals you're working on, um, who they involve. You can save your contracts in here actually, so they're easy to access and shows you how much money you had, keeps your financing in order, all that stuff. Figure if you turn out two to 400 texts every day, then you'll get a deal within your first month just from the sheer volume. Now this method and process also keeps you flush with activity, which I love because you're waking up every day to new responses from the people you texted yesterday. You're doing constant negotiations, following up all throughout the day. And to make things even better, I have Dialpad, my CRM, and everything else all on my phone so I can constantly be following up with people and stay in touch all throughout the day no matter what I'm doing. So doing this, you will literally always be working on leads, always staying engrossed in your business and staying in your business mindset. Now using my method of contacting leads and my scripts, you're gonna need a CRM, which is a customer relationship management, because you are gonna be flush with leads, deals, and money. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the notification icon, because next video I'm gonna show you which CRM I use and exactly how I use it. Remember, it's not about chasing one wholesale deal. It's about building a sustainable wholesale business. All right, and if you want my scripts for each different type of motivated seller sent directly to you, then subscribe, comment scripts please down below, and I'll take care of you. So now you guys have been behind the curtain and seen exactly my processes, exactly my scripts, how I text motivated sellers from start to finish and close deals. But if you have any questions or need any advice, drop it down below and I'm here for you guys. You're in Jamestown now. Relax, take some notes, and let's make some money.